I, I just, uh, my, my job is to welcome everybody here, sorry, <coughs> welcome everybody on this special Wellington evening, just the kind of night we are used to and enjoy so much. I need to welcome members of parliament and I can't, I don't know everyone, so I will just welcome in case the ministers and ambassadors <laughs> and leaders of parties and really important people to do with Parliament. <laughs> also Scoop shareholders, supporters, clients, staff and readers. So I'm the chair of Scoop and I'll be handing over shortly to our hosts who are Russell Norman and Grant Robertson. But first I want to say a little bit about Scoop Media. We're celebrating our 13th birthday. 13 years old is coming of age so for us, it is a time to thank many, many people for their very generous support, and I hope um, that probably includes all the people here. And you've got us to this grown-up age. Also, it is a time for us to reflect on where next, and we do want to talk to um, people in the next while about that. It is very fitting to have this celebration in Parliament. So. Do you all know that the news media began 400 years ago with pamphlets rushed to the streets of London to tell people about the debates in the Long Parliament of 1640? The Long Parliament opposed the divine right of Charles I to rule without Parliament, and that began the English Civil War. It was such a momentous time that the words of the Members of Parliament were scribbled down rushed to the labor laborious small printers in little shops and um, then they were on sale the next day. So the immediacy, the transparency, it dates from then. Now of course the news media is the fourth estate now and Scoop Media is just one little tiny, tiny bit of it in New Zealand. Well perhaps I shouldn't say that, we're a very important part of it. <laughs> But um, my reason for recalling the 1640 pamphleteers is a sort of perhaps a romantic idea that Scoop Media has quite a lot in common with those pioneers. We are a small commercial operation, we're developing a new technology as we go, and we are similarly committed to providing immediate news, independent of bias, as the lifeblood of democracy. We publish all the news we receive without fear or favour or obligation to any political party or movement. I hope there are lots of political parties represented here. Anyway, that's why we founded Scoop Media and why we are still going, despite the turbulent growing pains of our first 13 years. It hasn't always been easy. Thank you, Russell, and thank you, Grant, it is indeed fitting to hold our celebration in Parliament itself. I'd like to first welcome the co-leader of the Green Party, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it is a great pleasure uh, to be co-hosting uh, this event tonight. Uh, 13 is a real achievement um, during, uh, I think it's been quite challenging times at times for Scoop and so um, I offer my congratulations to the first 13 years. Um, from our point of view, and uh, for me what's critical about this is the diversity of the public sphere um, because of course it's not only um, the 1640 and, and the Long Parliament and of course chopping the head off Charles I which was uh, quite an amazing achievement. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not to be underrated, um, the first you know, revolution. Um, but um, what I think is also tremendously important to our democracy is the diversity of the public sphere. Uh, and so Scoop has added to that diversity and created a space where there is a lively interaction, uh, where many different voices can be heard. Uh, now we already, of course, have a, a fourth estate in New Zealand, which is relatively vibrant by international standards. Uh, but Scoop has added, I think, another level of vibrancy to that um, for the state and diversity to it. Um, without that element, we cannot have a democracy. Uh, so without that, there can be uh, no democracy in New Zealand. So it is, uh, for, for, for me, um, a great honour to be here tonight to be able to co-host. Um, and um, uh, I hope that um, we can have some cake. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Dr Russell Norman. And now the um, Deputy Leader of the, of the Labour Party, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Grant. Kia ora. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, Regents. We really welcome to Parliament. Uh, this is unlike most parties that you host, or in this case co-host. As the co-host, Russell and I had nothing to do with the fact that you have no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you, we also have nothing to do with the fact that you will have cake. Um, I, I first uh, met Alistair at a, at a parliamentary uh, press gallery party, actually, Alistair, quite a long time ago. I remember it. You probably don't. <laughs> Um, but um, Russell's been, uh, to Russ, sorry, Alice has been a, a presence around uh, this uh, building for a, a long time. They actually uh, commented about the press gallery party will mean something to some of the people in the room tonight, maybe not some of the younger uh, residents in the room. But um, Alice has been a presence around here for a long time, and, and in a way, uh, the fact that 13 is the age that sometimes you associate with. Uh, uh, perhaps surly teenagers lying on the couch, not doing a lot. You're, you're running against that, Alistair, in the Scoop family, and that you are a dynamic, unique teenager who, uh, who brings a lot to us uh, here. I'm um, working as I did in the, in the Prime Minister's office before I became uh, a Member of Parliament. We often used to, in those days, as we were getting our, our social media operations and our online operations going, you'd often hear someone saying something about a press release and the first thing they'd say, oh, well, it's on scoop, so don't worry about it, it's on scoop. And, and you did lead the way. You lead the way in, in a platform that I think others have, have tried to mimic and actually haven't been able to do. Uh, I know that you are now a multimedia platform and advertising agency and everything else in between in the scoop uh, media empire is, is something that I'm sure is going to grow into the future, but I want to acknowledge uh, what fantastic contributions Scoop's made, Margaret, Alistair, everyone involved, all of the staff. Uh, what you do is unique. Uh, it continues to be an important part of being a citizen of the Beltway, as we most of us in this room are here, but far beyond that as well. Um, your reach is growing, and I wish you all the best as we go on. And uh, I'm now standing between you all and one thousand on bar tab, so I'm go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grant. Um, I'm now going to ask um, Alistair, the General Manager of Scoop Media, um, and has been for 13 years, to propose a toast to Scoop Media. I'm sorry it is somewhat abstemious, but you might like to charge your glasses in the next little while. <laughs> Are we, is there no water? <laughs> well, you know, this is a fantasy toast. <laughs> Um, I, the board decided that our hard-won cash would go the furthest as a tab in the bar of the Thistle Inn after the ceremony. So we are inviting you all there. Um, before passing over to um, Alistair, I do have to thank, I am very pleased to thank the stalwart members of the board, past and present. I particularly want to mention a co-editor and board, meta, board member until the end of 2011, Selwyn Manning, who can't be with us today. Also current board member William, William Jevons Bailey, who sends his apologies also. On behalf of the shareholders, and there's quite a lot of us actually, I want to pay a tribute to all the staff who shared our commitment, and they are the ones, of course, who put in the hard work. They have dogged perseverance, flexibility, inspiration, and enthusiasm. You are simply the greatest staff. Um, what the general manager and all the staff have in the face of the vicissitudes of keeping a small company afloat is bounce back. So there's a term I've invented. What you need nowadays is bounce back. It's a terrifically valuable quality for staff. I'll hand over to Alistair, the general manager of Scoop Media. Um, thank you. 
bringing a magic item Russell for, for, for coming along, and I've got a wizard for you afterwards. Um, Thanks to also Isabel and Jean to them for helping organize the party. Um, this, um, this ceremony is going to be posted on Facebook in the, in the usual fashion after this event and tweeted and, and generally celebrated in the way we do these things. Um, we invited our entire Facebook group and, and Frank and Charlene here and turned up amongst the most other members of the Facebook community that, that belongs to, to Georgia that they actually set up the Facebook group but in, at some stage before I realised how much of it was. Um, I think it's impossible to think about all the thing, people that could be thanked. So instead of doing that, I'm just giving an example of one of the people who's worked with Susan and who's not here with us today. Rosalie Barker um, was a hand starter for the year, and um, before Scoop um, was, was founded, she left being a hand starter for her and did various other things in life. And um, in the early days, she transcribed personally all the super debate um, questions and answers. For Scoop. And Scoop is full of the work of thousands of people. Um, there's a large number of people here probably have contributed to Scoop in various ways, either by issuing press releases or taking photographs or, or keeping it just makes fantastic graphics for us, which, which um, we're very, very privileged to have. Um, so, um, um, Rosalie's in, in, in San Francisco now, and um, she'll be watching this video later. Um, I was going to say a little bit about the mission. The mission of Scoop is to be an agent for positive change. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a line on our, on, on our website, you can see, you can read the full mission statement, but that's basically what we attempt to do. And we, we like to think that we do that by speaking up the dialectic and enabling people to know what other people are thinking. Um, so, why 13? Um, 13, I think, is special um, for me for a bunch of reasons, but I think it's also special because it's a coming of age. It's about the age of... of, of, um, of <laughs> it is. It is. It's the age of hormones. And, and it's the age of, of rejection of parent or control. I think it's not so long. A beginning of rejection of parent or control. And I'm, and I'm quite looking forward to that happening. <laughs> <laughs> Because in many ways, Scoop has been like a child, a, a child to, um, to us and a sibling to our, our children. Um, and my stepsons and my son, who's, who's not with us today. Um, and it would be nice if this child grows up like they have. And, um, I don't know, qualifies, finds some worthy employment or something. Um, and finally, I'd just like to, con to, um, to conclude by thanking some people who are, who are not here. Um, because they've passed. And I think that, that, I mean, I should have said this at the beginning, but I'd like to, this is the first function to see the head of Parliament, so I'd, I'd like to acknowledge the spirits of Parliament um, here, and there's also the spirits of people who have, who have passed. In particular, um, Lloyd Morrison, um, who, who I was, was very fond of, and um, Dr. Ian Pryor, who was someone that Lloyd was very fond of. Um, and finally, I'd also like to acknowledge my father, Stephen Thompson, whose, whose support um, was vital to creating this group and he passed away three, days, three, <coughs> sorry, three years ago, roughly, and about the time of um, the beginning of the great financial crisis. So he missed out on all the excitement that we had over the last three years. But um, he would have enjoyed it. Um, so as our um, silent, our sort of um, dry toast, I'd like to um, toast to absent things at Scoop um, from every corner of the globe and to Scoop itself, may it um, live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs>
the click to have cats and um, we go and gluten free and dairy free cats and get on the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 everybody. everybody. Thank <laughs> you. 